Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Dude. Oh, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back again with my um, junk journal essentials kit and the bits that we have been making with it. And what we've made so far, we just took this huge kind of pouch and we've just, you know, made a pouch basically. And then we're making a very basic journal to put inside, oops, inside this huge great big pocket that we've got on the front. Um, now, I'm going to struggle to obviously stuff that journal very full. And as you know, I do normally like my journals pretty fat and pretty bulky. Um, so I'm going to have to restrain myself here because, yeah, as you can see, I mean, this will have string, but, you know, I don't want to have a situation where it's kind of like that big. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to really, really rein it in with my decorating, which is a shame to say the least. So I wasn't sure what to do on the inside of my um, envelope kind of pouch thing. Um, now, I was considering putting another journal in there, but to be honest, I thought, how boring is that, you know, to just have like a second journal. So I thought what I'd quite like to do, and I was very much inspired by April, so April Carter. So if you're watching, thank you so much, April, because she said recently that she was working with um, envelope stack journals. And I have to confess, I'm not too sure that I've ever made an envelope stack journal. So, you know, hard to say, to be honest, because you kind of think through, don't you? And think, mm, I can't remember really what I've made and what I haven't, but I don't think I have. So I kind of did some investigating and I thought, well, to be honest, why don't we make like a reverse envelope stack journal? So the envelope stack normally would kind of go on the outside, i.e. would be here on the front cover, but there's no reason why it couldn't go here on the inside is what I'm thinking. So it will be literally a reverse envelope stack journal. So the front will be here with the journal inside and then the inside will have the envelope stack. Now, obviously, obviously I haven't tried this. So whether or not this is going to work or fail miserably, I have no clue, I'm afraid. Um, but yeah, let's just give it a try because to be honest, you know, you don't know unless you try these things, do you? And, you know, it's just kind of something that I thought, well, I quite fancy just having a go at that. So I think what I'm going to do is start by literally lining a few envelopes. Now, most of the videos that I watched, the tips were don't go more than three envelopes deep, if you see what I mean. So you'd have your three envelopes there and your three envelopes on the other side. Don't go more than that. Now, because this is obviously going to be on the inside of my journal, you know, I might find actually even three envelopes is too many. So, you know, it's going to be a trial and error kind of process. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. And like I say, we would just get, first of all, just lining the actual envelope or envelopes themselves so let's just open them up and you know obviously I'm just lining them because you know you want them to be nice and robust you don't want them kind of falling apart or anything so you know lining them is just you know good practice I suppose really so just take that in here like that Oops. like that okay <clears throat> I'll take that down yeah I mean I don't know whether this is going to work but it was just something that I thought well do you know what I think that would be really a fun way to finish this off um you know and I just wasn't sure what to do on the inside of the the like you know foldy thing so I'm just going to cut all my pieces I think first and then um you know glue glue all the bits down at the same time so a bit like an assembly line style how we do in the mass making so okay let's tuck that in now I probably need to be a little bit careful how I'm tucking these in because if I don't pay too much attention um then I could end up where I've got my pieces completely upside down, if that makes sense. So yeah, I probably want to sort of bear in mind whether my envelopes are going to go on the left or the right, um, you know. Obviously when I'm putting paper in sideways on, i.e. this piece, 
it makes no difference because the paper's sideways on. But like this piece where you might have text or something up the right way, if then the envelope went that way, it's upside down. So yeah, kind of just, um, you know, something to be aware of depending on your paper. So if your paper is, um, just going to trim this down slightly. If your paper has an obvious like upright pattern or way around, then you just need to be a bit, yeah, a bit careful, I suppose, which way around you put your your pattern paper in. So let's just take some invoice. <clears throat> Might have this in this way. Okay, let's just maybe cut that down there or yeah, tear, tear that down there. Okay. And just fold that down. So I apologise if this is a little bit boring. Just watch me line the envelopes. But I mean, you know, this is kind of an essential thing. Well, it's not essential. Obviously, you don't have to do this stage. Um, but personally, I just never really have that much faith in my envelopes staying, um, you know, strong. So just by reinforcing them, you're just giving them the best chance, really, of, you know not tearing so you know i think it's worth worth investing the time Oops. okay like that right got a couple of little bits here so might be able to just get away with this okay and then i'm gonna have to count this up in a minute because i've completely lost count now of how many envelopes i've even done so I mean, how rubbish am I? But yeah, already, I've already lost count. Rubbish. Oh my goodness, it's such a horrible day out there today. It's literally chucking it down. Really horrible. Really horrible and really cold. Yeah, really cold this morning. So, um, you know, sometimes when it rains, it sort of warms up the temperature slightly. Well, I don't think that's happened today. Or, if it has, I can't begin to imagine how cold it would have been before the temperature warmed up, i.e. before it rained. It would have been really cold. It's just really horrible. Grey, miserable, rainy, it, windy. <laughs> yep, you name it. It's, it's there today. <clears throat> right. So, yeah, just tuck this in here. Right, let's count up how many envelopes I've got. So, I mean, obviously I've got the two halves to the folio. Well, it's not, not a folio, but you know. So I could have three on one side, three there. So that's six envelopes and then potentially six the other side. Although, like I say, I might decide to just do two on each side because, um, you know, it may just get too bulky. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh gosh slow going I've only got six so far let me just pull in another couple of envelopes oh dear this is um yeah taking way more envelopes than I had anticipated so one two oops let's just grab in a couple more oh come on oh I'm so sorry this is um yeah way more envelopes than I had obviously you know thought it would take so Right, one, two, three, four. Let's do it like that. Let's have, yeah, just um, just the four, I think, the other side. Only because, you know, otherwise I'll be here all day just lining envelopes. And, of course, that's not very interesting to be watching. So, okay. Let's just bring in some more floral, I think. <clears throat> Again, just trying to see if I've got some with, you know, like other things on the back something that you know is not going to be overly useful elsewhere okay so just take that one down here like that okay looking good looking good right <clears throat> and again, just then fold that down I mean, I'm really not, um, you know, paying much attention to, you know, how I'm doing this, to be honest. It's 
it's all fine. It's all going to be fine. Oops, that's not even an envelope. So, well, it is an envelope, but not a useful one. So let me just try and find another one. Oops, hold on. Oh, I've got some CD envelopes here, actually. Perhaps I could use one of those. Yeah, let's, let's have a CD envelope. Right. <clears throat> so again, I might want to just sort of, yeah, concentrate a little bit. Okay, so if I want to reinforce this, yeah, okay, so I'm just going to take that down there. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I haven't got that much wiggle room because um, I don't want to kind of go over the circle, you know, over the window. So, yeah, I can only just literally put it in there just a fraction before I'm hitting into the circle or could reinforce it on this side instead which you know that might actually be the better way to do it hmm. yeah it probably would have been wouldn't it oh well let's just do this anyway and yeah I mean obviously I'm going to cut this down and things so let's just put that there so I don't forget which which piece that was for <clears throat> okay and then I've just got some more of that invoice page so again let's just in yeah could probably get both of those envelopes done from that one page so again just do that and then i think these are both the same size envelope but i'd best just double check yep so pop that like that and just you know again just trying to be a bit quicker here so just kind of taking that bottom bit off then for both of those so, and again, I'm just terrible for, um, you know, just tearing this really rather than cutting it. But I mean, I just think anything to speed, speed the process up. So, okay, right. And then we've just got this last one, which, you know, we can reinforce that one with, again, let me see. Oh, I thought I might have had something. Oh, here we go. And just reinforce that with this oh my goodness how gorgeous does that look so yeah i mean that just tucks in like that okay right okay let's get gluing gluing our reinforced bits in so i mean obviously i'm going to have to trim around the flaps anyway so i'm really not too worried you know if you're thinking oh my goodness that's not anywhere near the shape of that envelope. It doesn't matter because it's all going to be trimmed, you know, trimmed to size anyway. So yeah, I'm just, you know, literally getting it stuck in there first. So like that, okay. And then I just want to, you know, just make sure that my fold is there and visible. There and visible. Yeah, okay. Like that. Get my wipe. Okay, right, envelope number one. Okie dokie, right, envelope number two. <clears throat> I wish I'd coffee dyed this envelope, actually. It just, yeah, it didn't actually occur to me to do, and now I do wish I had, really, but never mind. So again, just go around the edge, and then I'm just going to focus a little bit more over where the fold of the envelope is. And then here on the flap, and again, you know, this is all going to be trimmed down. So I might not even have the entire envelope flap, you know, because actually that might just add all, you know, unnecessary bulk. And it might just be that actually, you know, it's better having a, a smaller flap. Um, you know, like I say, I'm not sure I've even ever done an envelope stack journal, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I'll just kind of see how it pans out and then, um, you know, decide from there, but it might be that I decide to chop this off here and not have this entire flap because, you know, that flap, I don't know what it's bringing to the party. Oh, this is an envelope I've glued down. Oh, goodness. How many more envelopes am I going to actually pull in that are not really suitable? I mean, it's a wonder, isn't it, that I've got so many that aren't suitable for things. Oh, let me just put in another one. Hold on. Oh, my goodness. Right. Okay. So this one's slightly smaller. So I'm just going to have to um, take this down a fraction. Okay. Right. 
<clears throat> okay, and again, just go in here. Now, I probably will mix these envelopes up a little bit once we've lined them all because otherwise I'm... Oh, I might prefer that side, actually. Yeah, I think I might prefer that side. Um, because it's just like a perfect colour match with that envelope, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, I might mix them up slightly because otherwise, you know, where I've used the same papers... I don't want to have like all the same papers in one spot. So again, you know, we'll just kind of um, play around really and see what, you know, what goes best where. So pop that one in there like that. Okie dokie, right. Looking good so far. Fold that over. <clears throat> okay. Okie dokie, right, this one, now, this is that envelope, you know, the CD envelope, so I need to be very careful because I could very easily and very quickly end up sticking it over the, you know, the oval, uh, not the oval, the window. So, yeah, I'm going to kind of put the most of the glue here because I can keep a better eye. Oh, she says, no, I can't. Oh, come on. Oh, my goodness. Right. Just put that one down. Oh, see? Already I've gone too far down. Really haven't got much wiggle room on these. You know, there's there's not that much envelope beside the window, if that makes sense. Oops. Right. So, again, just want to check my fold. Oh, come on. Oh, do you know that's still gone over there a bit? I've kind of pushed it down slightly. I don't have to move it now. Mm. No, as soon as I fold that in, that's what happens. It, it moves down slightly. That's fine. I can always stick something over there. I'm not going to get too... Not going to get too overly worried about that. So just got a couple more to do I'm so sorry this I'm sure is like watching paint dry so I do apologize okay. right so these are just some envelopes I've already coffee dyed as you can probably see so um yeah these are really nice I wish that I had coffee dyed the others you know but yeah obviously I hadn't really kind of um yeah, I hadn't really decided what to do until yesterday and I read that comment from April and I thought, oh, genius idea. I'm going to do that inside my folder. So, um, yeah, again, thank you so much, April, for that brilliant idea. And that's why, you know, I often say, you know, comment below what you're working on at the moment because it's so nice to get inspiration and ideas from one another, you know. Even if it's not then making the same thing that somebody else is mentioning or working on, often you can take inspiration and make, you know, take inspiration and make it work for like the project you're doing, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Um, well, you know, when she said it, I just thought, oh, wouldn't mind doing that on here. And of course, then I thought, well, how's that going to work on that front? And then I thought, well, actually, there's no reason why I couldn't do it sort of like in the reverse so just a reverse envelope stack journal you know like I say I mean I haven't done it before um I haven't even done a normal one so I definitely haven't done a reverse one no, I haven't done a normal one so um who knows who knows whether the reverse one will work but I just thought it would be an interesting interesting look won't it so oops, didn't make a very good job of folding that okay right okie dokie right we've just got three more to do you'll be pleased to know oh I should really have that out that way shouldn't I yeah 
because then we get more of those flowers, which is nice. Yeah, so I hope that everybody else is having a good day. Hope the weather is a bit better where you are. Or if you're in the UK, I hope it's a bit better today than it is, is today. So, um, yeah. Oops. Oh, gosh, come on. Ah. Oh, this is fiddly. Yeah, lining envelopes, not really my favourite thing. I used to really, really um, dread doing it. You know, I found it so fiddly that, yeah, I would kind of almost avoid doing it. Um, I don't find it as terrible as I used to, but yeah, not really my finest um, moment really when I'm, you know, lining the envelopes because it is quite fiddly and um, yeah, it's quite easy to, you know, miss a line or, you know, like here to actually then miss my fold, put then the fold in the wrong place, all those kinds of things. So um, yeah, it's... One of those kind of, uh, I was going to say practice makes perfect, but hey, that's not really the case in my case, but practice definitely helps. I'm not saying it makes perfect, but definitely does help. And if nothing else, it just will give you confidence, you know, when doing it. So it will make it less, less daunting and more, um, well, I don't know, um, well, just more kind of, yeah, you'll feel more comfortable doing it. I mean, it's funny, isn't it? But we all have our little things that probably, you know, we feel either more or less comfortable doing. Um, I mean, for me, anything that requires a little bit of precision, you know, anything that might require, I mean, heaven forbid, measuring. I mean, obviously, I don't, don't measure, but even measuring, you know, by eye or, you know, having to get things kind of straight or... Yeah, even a little bit precise. I mean, that just kind of fills me with dread and I just think, oh no, that just, oh, you know, because yeah, invariably it's just not going to go well. And that's probably, you know, where I am with the lining of the envelopes because it's got to be, you know, reasonably precise, hasn't it? You can't just kind of, um, you know, go in anywhere. Oh, I'm so sorry that this is now turning out to be just a whole video of just lining the envelopes. Well, let's hope that we actually get time to actually get a couple down at least. Okay. Right, well, what I might do is, because um, actually it turns out I have got another two to do, which I hadn't realised. So, yeah, let's do... It's brand new glue, so I definitely shouldn't be having glue issues, but, oh, you know, again, these things just, you know, set out to test us, don't they? So, oh gosh, come on. Oh, why is this proving so tricky? Right. So, yeah. Let's just slide that in. Come on, come on, come on. Right, okay. And then just glue this down. So, yeah, what I'll do, I'll leave those other two. And let's get pulling that folder in and doing a little bit of making an envelope stack. Now, I have to say, I feel like I've seen mixed, um, you know, mixed opinions on how's the best method to do this. So... Again, you know, I'm going to just play around and see what method works best. When I say works, <laughs> I'm meaning that in the loosest possible way. So, obviously, we've got our spine here. Now, obviously, you know, this is quite a bulky piece. So, it's not a really defined spine, if that makes sense. So, you know, it's, yeah, it's not kind of um, hugely defined on there. Now, I could, could line this with some lace um which you know I mean I just I do always love to line a spine with lace because it does reinforce it um yeah I don't think that would matter too much and I do want to line this because if you've watched my other video you'll know that this had a tear in it 
So I will definitely want to put lace over there because that's going to reinforce that flap. So let's just bring my envelopes in. So I'm thinking, like if I reinforce that with some lace there, let me just cut this down so it stops moving because, um, yeah, it would just be easier, wouldn't it? I might actually cut it down. Okay, right. So if our lace was there, and I'm not gluing it down just yet, just in case I change my mind, my envelopes would obviously be glued on top of my lace. So it's just a case of, you know, is that going to be okay or is that going to make the envelopes kind of even more bulky to the point of being, you know, too bulky. So let's just put a couple down and see what we think. So for instance, if we were to have like these, now I have to be careful because I can't really see now where my edge is. And I mean, to be honest, it doesn't have to go right to the edge. So if I just fold that over. Okay, and this one. So yeah, I would perhaps want to have this here. And then maybe this one. Maybe here like that and then I've got my small ones which you know typical the ones that I haven't lined um oh, but I have got another small one so yeah that's fine I can use this one so let's just cut this down like I say I might take these spines down anyway uh not spines flaps because it might be that you know we just don't need them in that ridiculous big size that they're in so and that could go on there so well I definitely want this lace here so I think what I'm going to do is glue the lace down because definitely definitely you know I'm trying to obviously reinforce that flap so I definitely want to have the lace on here so let's just pop that down like that okay <clears throat> right let's try this now again so if this went here and actually I'm just going to glue this right down and then I might just add a bit of hot glue just so that this is properly held in place so maybe just like a dab a dab of hot glue just to hold it firmly, firmly in place. Right, okay. So yeah, this is going to go here. Now, so I'm just having a look to see, do I want the lace or not? So let's try folding it. To be honest, I don't think that lace is bulking it out too much at all. I think it's fine. Um, and actually when I move it, I think ooh, it looks, looks pretty boring without the lace. So yeah, I'm going to have the lace on, on there. So again, just going to glue the lace down. So I'm going to just start by gluing it just with the wet glue. I haven't had any of the three in one or the fabric tack for a while. So I'm just using my wet glue, which is fine. It, it works fine. Um, and then I probably go over with the hot glue to just, you know, really get it stuck down. So like that. And then, yeah, let's just take the hot glue. And I'll just run, oops, run a bit of hot glue like along there as well. So it's just then, you know, got extra extra glue holding it in place okay right so how many envelopes did I have here in the end who knows lost lost track so right I'm going to take them apart now from each other and glue them down flaps wise so here I've actually only got two flaps so I'm going to glue these down now like I say I don't necessarily need all those flaps I guess why people do that is because otherwise you'd have just a very thick piece here. 
So, yeah, I mean, this very much, this is a learning process. And, you know, I'm very much kind of, yeah, trying to um, learn as I go and gradually kind of pick tips up. But I was thinking, you know, cut some of that flap away. But in hindsight, actually, I think maybe you're better off having the flap because if you cut it away, you're just going to end up with, you know, lots of bulk in one particular place. Mm. Let's just see what's happening here. Okay, yeah, so I think probably like that. So, okay, right. So to glue this down, obviously I've got my... Um, Yeah, I've got my lace. So again, just let me think. So sorry that I'm dithering around so much. It's just I'm trying to think how I want to glue this, whether I want to use hot, uh, yeah, hot glue or wet glue. Um, I mean, I love using hot glue, as you know. I was just a bit concerned because obviously I've lined the envelopes with just the, you know, photo quality, uh, not photo, you know, copy paper, regular copy paper thickness. So I'm thinking, mm, if I try and then hot glue the regular copy paper thickness down, is that going to actually be too lumpy? Oh, it's very tricky to say. Um, but I'm thinking it's going over the top of the lace. So, you know, it possibly needs the extra strength of the hot glue is where I'm coming from so let's just glue that down and this piece here honestly this is so much more complicated than I expected I don't know whether it's just me or whether everyone would find this complicated I think it's maybe just me yeah uh, I wonder if actually I could just wet glue some and hot glue some so do you know what I think what I'm going to do is put wet glue everywhere where it's just the copy paper thickness like there and then I'm just going to go over with the hot glue anywhere where it's double thickness if that makes sense so like here I've got the two envelope flaps Okay, I know this sounds very um, strange, but yeah, hopefully you kind of know where I'm coming from with this. So anywhere where it's thicker, I'm going over with the hot glue, like that. Okay, so we're just going to take this, oops, press it down, like that. Lovely, okay, right, looking good, okay. So we press that all down, like that okay yeah well that took some um, thinking about didn't it I don't know why that was so complicated but for some reason that just really confused me so um, yeah <laughs> I just didn't want to kind of stick things in the wrong way um you know with the wrong glue so yeah i think having to use the two different glues you know although seemed a little bit silly it kind of did need that so let's put this here and we're just going to see so again just check in the order in which our envelopes are going to sort of flap shut okay so they're going to go like that now at this point i'm just wondering whether we might want to have a policy closure on here to hold these closed I was going to have a tie um, with some sorry silk the reason why I haven't done that is because it would have been more bulk because I obviously would have had a sort of bow going on here and things and I just thought actually by the time I've got two lots of envelope stacks and then a bow it's you know it's not going to kind of work you know at all in terms of laying flat so yeah I think I'm going to do it like that so let's glue our envelope flaps down or our envelope stack glue that together so like this okay that one and then here 
which again actually now I'm looking we can probably stick this whole thing can't we to the um, you know this portion so yeah where I was you know thinking that I would be snipping those flaps down like I say actually in hindsight I'm not going to I think it needs needs the flaps so like that okay yep that looks good doesn't it so yep they're going to go there so I'm wondering if we have the policy closure on here I may need to put like some um, baker's twine or whatever I'm going to use actually glued in as I'm gluing down the envelopes so it would go around there like that I won't put the circle on here yet because I'm going to obviously add some decorative papers and things but yeah probably put the baker's twine down now so cut myself a nice long bit and obviously if I change my mind I can always take that off you know it's not kind of like it has to be there now it's you know just a sort of optional thing and of course we can just snip it out if we decide not to so I'm just going to glue this down so again just a bit of hot glue there just to hold that in place okay Ooh. Ooh. burning my fingers a little bit there um i thought it might have cooled down enough for me to actually squish it in but yeah it has now but it hadn't at first right okay so that's our um what do you call it baker's twine there now i'm just going to hot glue this lace down because i hadn't glued it down on this side so okay right now again this delicate operation right it's not such a problem here because my only piece that's single copy paper thickness is actually this strip the rest is all quite thick so i can definitely definitely use my hot glue there for everything um yeah pretty much everything except here but to be honest i might even use it there shall i no right so again just going to go around with the wet glue like that just on this you know copy paper thickness bit okay like that okay and then just here the whole thing I want to go around with my hot glue like that okay Right, press that down. So, looking good. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, I have to say, I don't know what to do here in this middle bit. Um, I haven't really thought about that yet. So, yeah, but that's my, that's my envelope side. Ah, got there eventually. I'm so sorry. It was such a protracted process, wasn't it? Oh dear, who knew? Who knew that it would be such a difficult thing to achieve? Right, okay, so the other side, let's see if we can just pretty quickly get something going on the other side. So, yeah, we will have our envelopes. So, again, we could have this one, for instance, here. Um, now, I think probably what you want to do is, like, build up layers. So you know you'd have like your biggest envelope on the bottom working up to your your smaller ones so like here you might have something like this I've got my cd envelope which i might want to have here for example Oops, come on oh dear come on oh my goodness come on come on like that and then I've just got this very small one, which I haven't glued in. But yeah, this one would then be possibly here. Or maybe up here. Oops, I've got it the wrong way around. Look. Oh, I'd get my head if it wasn't screwed on. So like that. And to be honest, I might not even have those small ones because um, I felt like the balance then looked wrong because I have a small one here. I didn't want to then have the same look on this side. Right, so again, pull these apart and just glue my pieces together. 
So this one here, I don't obviously need that huge bit. I'm just going to just tear this off. Like that. Oops. Okay, and then just glue in my flap down. So I can just squish that like that. Glue that down onto here. Oh, it's raining again. It had stopped for a little while. It was still just as grey, but yeah, it's decided to rain again. Um, yeah, pop this here like that. Okay. So that's going to go there like that. Okay. Um, and then I have got this here which is obviously now the back. Now, do I want more lace? Let's just see. Just see whether we do. Oh, I think I do actually, yeah. So I'm just going to have this lace, but very much overhanging. So it's got a such pretty, um, yeah, like a, an edge, I suppose, an overhanging edge on there. So let's get that one down. Okay, and I just cut that down. Now, when I cut it down, I often just leave it overhanging a little bit. Um, just, you know, I think that's quite pretty and adds a bit of interest. But, you know, again, up to you, really. So, again, just going to kind of help that along with a bit of hot glue. Like that. Oops. Okay, right, looking good. Okay, that one and then this one. So just need to glue this flap here, which I might just take that down slightly. I felt like it might overhang slightly. So yeah, just take that down and then we're just going to glue that straight onto here like that. Okay. Like that. Okay, right. Oh, honestly, I'm shocked at how complicated I've found this. I don't know why I'm shocked, to be honest, but, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think just other people made this process look so easy, and for some reason, I did not find it so easy. I found it quite confusing. Uh, right, so I'm just going to cut that down. Okay, so, yeah, this is going to go here. Right, now again, just checking where my fold mark is. I mean, I could even have this one over, to be honest, so it's a smaller little envelope cluster. Um, yeah, otherwise I feel like, you know, all we see is that white. So, yeah, I might just do that. Um, I am just going to try that sorry silk. I mean, I did say about it bulking it out, didn't I, with a bow, which I still do think that. But I'm now thinking, well, otherwise my option is to have another policy closure, which that's just a bit rubbish to have like, you know, two, isn't it? So let's just see. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of bulking it out, but not too, too bad. And like I say, you know, because I was thinking then I'll have another policy closure. But to be honest, A, where's it going to go? Because I haven't really got rim anywhere. And B... That's just going to look rubbish, isn't it? To have two, that's just really boring. So, yeah, I don't really want to do that if I can help it. So, right, let's glue. Right, okay, this this is now going to just confuse the life out of me now. So I'm just going to glue my sari silk on here. <clears throat> like that, okay. Right. Let's just open this back out. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is glue whoops, this envelope set down. Now, were they quite low? Yeah, they were. They were quite low. Right, okay. So, yeah, I'm just going to glue these down. Now, again, I've got that same situation with those copy paper thickness, but I have got actually only a slither 
of copy paper thickness, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to do the whole thing of this with the hot glue because the bulk of this is more than copy paper, if you see what I mean. So I think this will be okay. Oh dear. Right, okay. Ooh. Take this and pop this down here like that, okay? Yeah. So let's just quickly open this out. So that one and then this one. Okay, right. <clears throat> oh, let me just cut these threads away because again, much as I do like it looking thready, it's a bit too, a bit too thready sometimes. So yeah, that was just one of those times. Okay, right, so my final one is this side. So this side, again, let's just check. Obviously it needs to be at least the width of this envelope. Um, so it's going to have to be quite, you know, quite near towards the edge. Yeah. Might have it right, right near the edge actually. So again, what I'm going to do is just stick the sari silk. Oh gosh, sorry, I'm just now dragging in my wipe. Just glue down the sari silk because I want that obviously to be underneath my envelope or my envelopes. So yeah. Okay, right. Now I want to take my envelopes. So again, I've got just copy paper here um, and here. So the bulk of this again is actually double, you know, more than just copy paper thickness. That's the only bits that's copy paper thickness. So I'm just going to, again, just go in with my hot glue for this. It's just when there's a lot of copy paper, I kind of think, you know, it's probably better not using hot glue because hot glue can be a little bit on the lumpy side. But, you know, as soon as you get to using thicker paper, that's less of an issue. So, yeah. Right. I hope I haven't mucked that up. No. Okay. Oh, I was suddenly really worried. I thought, oh, I bet I haven't now left enough room for that whole envelope. But luckily there was. That was just luck. More luck than judgment. Okay, so yeah, okay, so we've got the basis, basis now for our envelope stack or our reverse, reverse envelope stack. Oops, pick that bit of hot glue. Oh dear, I mean, that's the only good thing, uh, or another, perhaps I should say, because I think there's lots of good things about hot glue, but that's another quite good thing about hot glue is you can normally peel it off quite easily although not today oh well right okay so tie my sari silk up hope for the best that I haven't bulked this out too too much that I'm going to prevent it from closing definitely yeah it would have looked weird with the two policy closures wouldn't it so yeah okay so that is my folder um, with the reverse envelope stack going on on the inside. Um, and like I say, I mean, obviously I've got to finish my journal and things. Um, and now obviously decorate up my envelopes and things to, um, yeah, to finish it off. But uh, yeah, really, really liking how it's looking so far. It looks really, really pretty. So um, yeah, I hope that you like it. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks then. Bye.